I am opening a portal. Come on in. Yes, here we are. Boom, portal open. And final question I'll ask. Do you live here or did you come here from somewhere else? Is Holly smarter than me? Is that Morse code for no? <laughs> Dylan? Nope. That was your name. I looked at it, I saw it, and then it was gone. What just happened to you? Did you hear footsteps? Yeah. That sounded like it was rushing me. The footsteps I heard were slow. They were very soft, and they were probably 10 feet away. 10 feet away? 10 feet away. OK, so the fact that I'm hearing, it sounded like it was two feet. Like it was one more step. If I wouldn't have jumped out of the way, it would have been like there. Ugh. It's like freezing up here, <laughs> like blistering cold. Let's do a question and answer session. I'm gonna ask a question, whoever in the audience wants to answer, feel free to do so, and then we will listen back to see if we heard you. So make sure you yell uh, if... Holy shit. Full left side of my body. Frozen. You know, we haven't tried not having a sweep rate. Is that an option? Yep, I didn't know that was an option. Try that. Sure. Uh -huh. Now that's not a sound I like. All right, here, take it. I, I, I'm so, so over this. What did you hear under there? Growling. I heard growling. At the exact same time as you guys are hearing footsteps outside, that's when, and I can unmute it here. What? Oh, you heard a wet footstep? Wet footsteps. Footsteps in wet grass. Oh, okay. Sorry, did I not say that before? No. That was like That's, that is. That's crazy. That's, that is... That's crazy. While you guys are hearing footsteps outside, there are footsteps being made inside. And <laughs> there's no. also, you can also hear water running. In a, like, there has been water. Every now and then, there's some sort of pump down there that runs very quickly. Right. But it's, you can barely hear it on the ADR. Here, sorry, let me find it. You can hear the water. Oh my God. Like that's like it's right next. Like what you're almost that? in a boat where it's like, oh, the one thing I've carved out. Oh, that's the most interesting part of all. Oh, this gets worse. So it? it's almost like, like the sloshing of like if someone had a bucket, like if they were swabbing a deck or something. Yeah, or if you've ever been in the hold of an old ship, those things leak like a sieve. Oh, I haven't. It's amazing so. those things ever managed to stay afloat, but there was always water that might leak in the hold of an old sailing ship. So, cool. Uh, like, all sorts of stuff going on. Can I ask you a question? You can. When I, when I hear the footsteps chasing me, mm -hmm. just before or after this? After. The, because this was the first time you sort of heard it. Okay. So you haven't completely freaked out outside yet. 
you do later a little bit. So what's this sound like to you? It's very faint. I heard it the first time through. I've tried to enhance it as much as possible. But really, it's just this area here. I'll just get rid of that. The beginning? Yeah. Is it breathing? Is something breathing? I'm hearing a word. I'm, I'm hearing whispering. Yeah. yeah. I hear avenge. That's what I hear. I hear. Oh, OK. <laughs> I hear the venge. To me, the venge is very clear. Oh, God. Play it again. I hear venge. Very clear. Hold on. It's I, not at oops. any other point in time? Hold on. Holy sh... If I, I swear, holy crap. If I put the treble up and you amplify it a little bit more, which I forgot to do the last time. Okay, now it sounds like a voice. I, I fully hear eventually. Whatever it is, and people can decide for themselves what they think it is, it is an anomalous whisper. I'll just put it like, like that is not a sound that shows up anywhere else on the ADR at all. And it happens while something is walking across the deck of a ship. That I'm just going to put that out there. My personal theory is it's time-traveling Paul, ghost Paul from the future coming back because Dylan somehow killed me in the future. And I'm coming back I'm like, avenge. I must avenge me. To be fair, you do keep calling me Anakin and you Kenobi, so. I know, but it's not a sp Okay, technically they both kill each other in a roundabout way or whatever. That ends poorly for both <laughs> of them. See, the thing is too, it's like, we could sit here for hours yeah. and say, I hear this word, I hear that word. You mm -hmm. know what the creepiest part of this is? There's a word. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what the word is, I suppose. <laughs> oh. While somebody's walking or while there are footsteps. Oh, and here they are again. You can establish where Jim and Julie are because you hear them right beforehand on the ADR upstairs. Jim drops something. That's Jim dropping something. And then you can barely hear Julia. That's how, like, distance from upstairs, that's what it sounds like. Just this barest, almost a whisper. And then there's this. Oh, my God. It's, that's in the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. Of a cement-floored basement. Mm-hmm. Julia wasn't even wearing heels anyways. No. Like, that's a heavy shoe. <laughs> Plus, it's in the room for a very constrained period of time. You can see from the, the, the waveform, and the ADR doesn't cut out. It's not, it's, there it is. It just continues to record. So it's something that happens, and then it, it's like, to me, it sounds like something pacing back and yeah. forth. I'll tell you one thing. That is not the sound of a calm, happy individual walking. That's no. a restless spirit, That's I a, would say. Yeah. Now that's what it sounds like with me in the room. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave you here, recorder, and you're running. It's a good thing I did. I'll be back. And let me hear your footsteps. Everything's here. Anybody stay out here? That was me. If wants to make contact, feel free to do so. Feel free to do so. That's what I'm leaving you there for. <laughs> you can't even hear them. Yeah. Yeah, I've already left. Okay. And that's the door. So I've that those that's what it sounds like if I walk down the hallway. Not to mention if you okay if you were to I'm trying to think of every possible thing this could be. The ball. Oh, there's what it sounds like if I bounce the ball in the room. Even that sounds more distant than the freaking footsteps. That's. Yeah, there's so much concrete it's going to be bouncing around. Like, it's going to have reverb, typically. Well, so do the footsteps not have reverb? They, they, I mean, they have it. If you were bouncing it that... it sound like that room. If you were bouncing that ball off a wooden floor, it would sound a lot different than... You'd oh, hear that's the, concrete. Yeah, you'd hear the sound of the wood. 
So there's actually, that's quite useful. I hadn't thought of that. There's me bouncing a ball nice and loud. And here is, well, whatever. Walking in that room. It's like you've, you've put, like, okay, imagine this is a wooden floor. Mm -hmm. It's like there was a wooden, like, mini stage in the room, and you put the mic under the stage. Like, it sounds like it's walking over a mic. Yeah. Honestly, like, that's, it's like a fully recording. It's close. You can make it all out. That's, that's how it would sound like if I was doing it for, like, a feature film or something. It's... Yeah, you were doing it for a feature film. Haunting at King's Playhouse. <laughs> that's... So, okay, what do you... I don't even know what to ask. What, what do you think that means? Uh, Was it Cthulhu? I have theories. No. What do you got? I mean, theoretically, uh, if if you're getting the sound of somebody that's not there, I mean, obviously this is paranormal, mm -hmm. um, if there's nobody there, but you're also getting the sound of what it's walking on, which is also not there, I don't know that in this case you would consider that, and hopefully I don't get hit from behind or something, like an intelligent entity. It may just be that trapped energy that somehow got released when Paul went down. And so what we hear is an echo from a previous time. It's still paranormal. I just don't know that that one's going to push you. No. Well, it didn't push me. It just went cuckoo for coconuts on the ghost box later. Um, and something was stalking you guys or at least you were hearing noises where there, there were What's no that? animals or anything do outside. You, do you think it's possible that it's... Because those motion lights traced a path, right? When we were out there, we oh, noticed yeah. they were going... Were they going towards the playhouse around that time? Oof. The light was. The light was definitely moving. Oh, across. The light that was closest to where that ADR would be was the one that was reacting to me in real time. The one farthest over, where because there's that back door to the theater part. Mm -hmm. That light that was way over there, that was the one that I was like, can you turn it off? And then, boom. The motion sensor light, mm -hmm. which none of us were over there for. Oh, yeah. Things were going so well. This what is, are you talking this about? This is great. What, what do you right, mean? What, in this one single minute? No, no. I was talking about things were going so well, except for the rumor and the... Oh, Queens. Queens County Museum. I mean, that was... But you, you in the Cooper's Mansion or in, you know, with your, maybe your, your grandfather, things seem to be taking an uptick for friendliness. And then we went to Barrington. I may have unleashed ghost Nazis. Holly might have called out some demon from the cheetah room or whatever. Uh, who knows what happened at the Seaside Community Center. I don't know. That's just crazy talk. Yeah. Oh, in the Yarmouth yeah. Jail, 666. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. So I think I know, like, that's where it all started to go haywire, yeah, right? Yeah. So you know what we need to do. No, we don't. Yes, no, we, we do. Don't. No, we Paul don't. knows what we need to do. We absolutely do not. Tabor there hasn't been there. There are a million places in Nova Scotia that we can go to. We do not need to go back there. But think, there's so many unanswered questions. Oh, for God's Plus, sake. I think I'm going to fact check that million places. I don't actually think there's a million places. Well, like the haunted, most haunted province in the, in the country. We never did a formal investigation That's of the true. area, and we had a lot of stuff happen. So perhaps yep. something is trying Plus, to lead us back we there. We were working on other things, too. I think we need to spend, like, two dedicated nights just investigating that house. With just him there. Oh, well, all of us there. Yeah, we should probably, yeah. But okay, we have to, I think... What fun if would it be if we can't see him, you know, pulled down to hell in real time or whatever happens, I don't know. But, but I mean, like, if we're going to recreate, then everyone should be in the same rooms. It's like the Mexican standoff from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Here we go again. Well, yeah. to be fair, I thought I, know, I was... I'm excited to hear this. Experiencing She's the something lead paranormal, and then I no. decided that it would be best if this was paranormal to send it to whom at the time I considered the most skeptic and least susceptible to see if they also experienced something. I love that you've created this, like, wiki answers version of, oh, man, the dark mass in my room scared me, so I got rid of it by sending it to Dylan. No, no. If it scared me and I wanted it to go away, then I would have just sent it away if I could. Yeah, across the hall. If away. I could. No, no, no. I told it to go and come back. You were conducting... You told it to come back? Yes. Bull. I think so. It's been a long time. Yeah, exactly. I don't remember. Yeah, right, right, right. But it was not to frighten you. It was just to be like, okay, this is having, I'm having some sort of physiological She's like reaction. the weather in the Maritimes. It changes every 10 minutes, the you know, story. Maybe. No, it's, maybe. I, was, I was trying to be scientific to some degree. I'm experiencing this. <laughs> Let's see degree. if someone else experiences this 
And you did. Can I control the dark forces of hell? That's pretty well, that's good, though, right? Yeah, that's... The mass murderer only murdered in this town. Let's place him somewhere else. I don't we'll think he read his full contract. Well, I think it's only fair then, Dylan. Oh, yeah? If you go back and have to go through this, uh -huh. I think we should try something with Holly. Okay, what kind something, of thing? Something new. I was doing a podcast with my friend Micah Hanks, and he's a paranormalist down in the U.S. Micah. He's big into mirror gazing. Oh. Uh... What? I was thinking you could do that. See? Okay, so... New things I'm for everybody. Not, so cool. I you might have really noticed Taper, the only person who's not going to be doing it. Is I really... I, <laughs> Paul, you know I hate mirrors. I do, exactly, so... You know what? Okay. I hate all of this, but that's a little bit of icing on this poisonous cake, so See? that's, yeah. I thought you'd like that. Yeah, that's good. I, I avoid mirrors. You know, you know that. Mm -hmm. I told Micah that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you're all... Oh, ooh. And just remember... Right, I see how this is going. Remember my, what might follow us down there. Oh, oh God. Do you want to switch? Do I want to switch? You do the mirror gazing and I'll, I'll sleep in that room. You're, you're, you're hilarious. Sometimes. She's more afraid of the mirror than you are of the room. This could work out nicely. So right now we're on our way to beautiful Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, and I'm very excited because last time we were here, we stayed in a house called the Captain's House. I don't know if it's actually called that, but we called it the Captain's House. And what happened, which still to this day, I'm not quite sure the details of the specifics behind what happened. I saw a demon in my shower, and it was probably the only time during the entirety of Haunted that I can remember actively not being able to sleep for two or three days. I can't remember how much it was, but I did not sleep for two or three days. <sighs> so Paul sent me an email a little while ago and said, hey, we're going back to the captain's house. And you're staying in the same room that you stayed in before. So I've been voluntold that I now have to basically stay in a place where I may have seen the devil himself and see if we can see him again. Because our sole purpose, we wouldn't be going here if the goal wasn't to bring it out again. So I'm thrilled, I'm very excited. Um, retirement, I believe, is coming up very soon. Um, maybe forced retirement, depending on how this whole trip goes. But here we go. Paul and Holly, this is 110% your fault. So we're here, yay, at the demon house, which has a nice fresh coat of blue paint, because they were working on that last time we were here. Yet despite its beautiful exterior, I feel like what's inside is still just as evil as we left it. <sighs> I hate this. I hate this passion. Like it looks like it's out of a horror film. Yeah, this place is haunted. This sucks. I knew it. <laughs> See, they're peppy. I guarantee you they're excited. All at my expense, yay. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't look happy. Hey. Well, welcome, welcome to hell again. Hey, did you go inside? How does it feel? How's it? How does it feel? I well, did. I did tell him we were coming here. I 
didn't tell him that he was staying in the demon room, although I think that was understood, right? You knew that? <sighs> the assumption was there, sure. See, then it's fine. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah, because I have some theories about that that <laughs> I want to talk to you about uh, when we have time later about... Um, Satan and Michelle? Like at 3 o'clock in the morning. She's not going to tell you. She's okay. just going to send a shadow person over to brief you. No, I want to hear the full story. Like, I want to hear the full story. Like, of what happened to me? Yes, of what happened to you in Have you detail. seen the first season of our show? <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't watch it. She just she just wrecks havoc wherever she goes and then no, she moves I on. Let me, I'm serious. I have some ideas. I mean, they're oh, not lovely. good. Great. No, that's good. <laughs> but I really I do I want to I want to get the story of what happened again and and piece it together and then do a couple of experiments and just uh, see what Remember the last That's... time she said she was going to do some experiments? See, the difference, because we've had this argument, I just wing it. Yeah, when I screw sure. up, it's just me, random, con but I don't mean anything by it. She plots it out. I have a couple of ideas, I've got a plan, I have seven different levels of hell that I'm going to call up tonight, you know? Well, I just said the fact that you're like, I want to hear the full story. It's like J.K. Rowling asking, man, I would love to hear the story of Harry Potter. She wrote the book. I didn't write the book. When Jim booked this place, mm -hmm. like this is not a haunted house. We did not know, like nothing. Sure. Yeah. So this might be, in fact, the running theory over the last year and a half since we aired the episode is that it was more about us yeah. than it was about this place because the whole thing with the unleashing of the thing in the basement of the jail and the 666 and whatever happened at Queens and all these other places, it all led us to here. Yeah. And this was just the place we were staying. So we might come here and nothing might happen. We might just stay here and nothing could happen because all of that maybe has gone away. Now, having said that, <laughs> you know, I have a couple of ideas too. So yeah. we'll, we'll put those into, we'll put those into Well, practice. I would say that this is the place that probably changed Dylan forever. Is that accurate? Paranormally speaking, that's accurate. I can tell. Cool, let's go inside and see if anything else changed. Yeah, have fun, yeah, cool. Yeah. It's pretty here. I really like it. I'm with him. I'm going to go in with him because you're dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> See? At least she's coming around to admitting it. Fools. That it's her fault. Well, that she's dangerous. Oh, it's like when they locked us in the jail cell at uh, mm -hmm. And Dorchester dangled the keys jail. like and we were like, a bunch of animals. Yeah. That's like, what would you, what'd you say, a dog without a treat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah something like that. Poor Chelsea, she got caught in the middle of all that. and Yeah, so. All right, well, let's go inside. She's probably upstairs by now, so we're at least safe on the bottom floor. Oh, I know, let's follow the psychopath into the... <laughs> all right. Oh. All right. You good? Oh, thrilled, thrilled. Right. thrilled. And we're back. Yeah. Holly? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm up here, guys. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Now we're What the? Is that the bathroom you feature from? No, it's called protection. Oh, sorry. Well, it works either way. I brought some of my own, too. Holly? I just feel like whenever we're on Holly now, I should have... A cross tour. Sort or... of, Do we have, yeah. like, wa like... <laughs> holy, holy water? Holy water. Holy water. Holy water. What yeah. are you guys yapping about? Nothing. Nothing. Just we're coming prepared for you. I see that. That is a creepy bat. Are we really doing that? What? What are you? What? what? I just don't know what you've summoned while you were up here. I so. summoned nothing. I never summoned anything. We need some holy water, as Dylan said. Hey, Dylan, how's the demon room? Oh, the demon room's great, Dylan. It's really colorful and blue, which usually means comforting, but not in this case. <laughs>